Could they have more delicately transitioned us over from the Terminator world that we knew to the Terminator world that we're entering? Yes, but at the same time, sometimes you just gotta go for it. They went for it. Uh, I will say that we knew certain things were kind of happening in this movie uh, based off of what we saw from San Diego Comic Con. So we kind of put pieces together. Right. So we were kind of prepared for it. We just didn't know in what way they were going to show us and how they were going to do it. How were they were going to get us up and running? And I could see where it could be jarring to some people that uh, are very huge fans of the past series or at least the franchise as it was uh, before we ended up, you know, not finding a footing in the world of Terminator in terms of continuing the story past Judgment Day. Right, and I think that they could have done it a little bit better, but aside from that, I think the story as a whole I really enjoyed. Now, the thing about this film, though, is obviously they have to up the ante, so it does feel like, you know, it is far more fantastical, over-the-top, and CG-fueled because it is taking that next level to capture audiences, you know, Fast and Furious, you want to see the over-the-top crazy stuff. Tim Miller himself is uh, guilty of giving us that kind of visual pleasure. I will say, though, that with the CG, it does do it in a very, like, practical way. Sure. To the Absolutely. point where you're like... There has to be some, obviously, but then, right. of course, you have things that you're like, you know, that could happen, whereas there's times where you're like, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Of course. But it's different than the grounded reality practical effects, special effects that we did get in Terminator 2 for the most part. The blowing up of Cyberdyne, uh, the helicopter chase on the freeway, the semi chase down in the aqueduct. Uh, but at the same time, we're, we've moved past that. We've kind of grown out of that. So you are getting the over the top multiple plane crashes in a film, uh, crazy car chases that are definitely doing things that you would never see any of them do back in the 90s. But at the same time, you know, you, if you can jump on board with that and you can get behind that and it is leaving that kind of real world practical feel behind, that's the future. That's where it's going. And uh, I feel like with this one, they're focusing on the future and where they want to go. And it's like, hey, get on with this story because this is where we're going from here. I think what they did so well too in this movie is that uh, they showed us like future like flashbacks essentially sure. to the story and I think that they utilized them very well whereas sometimes you're like you get too much and you don't want to see it and then it doesn't fit with the story that they're trying to tell. In my opinion, I did feel like there were some missing flashbacks that should have been in there to show me more that was going on in the past because it would have been cool to see. We've seen it in other past Terminator films. I kind of want to mirror what you're saying about how it kind of gives the story of the past and moves forward. That's very something we're seeing a lot of in, in Hollywood. Of course, movies. yeah. And it's done really well. I think this movie did a good job of giving you what you wanted. Right. The connection between the originals that you fell in love with right. also preparing you for what's to come if anything will come of it. Good job that referencing to throwing a little bit of tips in the hat but not going overbearing with it if you know it you know it and there's a few of them spread out throughout this film so Even I appreciated them for that and the music obviously the music is the one that's most noticeable but it's no Brad Fidel in terms of like the level of score throughout the entire thing you hear the musical cues but it is kind of forgettable music unless you hear the themes pop up throughout the film right I think that Tom Hulkenberg, uh, Hulkenberg. yeah could uh, he, I think Hugh Hano, he wanted to bring the essence of Terminator sure. there, but then he did his own thing as well. Of course, and it blended in with the over-the-top, crazy, in-your-face action, so I probably have to go back and listen to it to actually hear it because so much is going on visually. But either way, I would give Terminator Dark Fate a 3.75, maybe closer to a 4, because I am on board where it will be going. It isn't one that I'm over-the-top, over-the-moon about. Um, there were times where I just found my brain kind of wandering, you know, <laughs> know following the lines of time travel <laughs> and you try and figure stuff out which was cool I love how they do use time travel here but at the same time um, there are I feel like I'm waiting for the next story so 3.75 for me uh, I would give, probably give it the, the same roughly around there because I mean this was just like a a nice action film to go watch mm -hmm. and but it wasn't like oh my god this is like a new revolution in the Terminator series course, type yeah. thing it was just uh, a stepping stone into where they want to get to. Arnie's great, Hamilton's great, everyone in this movie's great. Gabriel Luna was great. I mean, everybody was firing on all cylinders as were the visuals. That's why I, I'm hesitant to give my score because I sure. give it about a 2.5. Right now. Did I enjoy it? Sure. Yes. Would I see it again? Probably. Have I seen this movie before? I have. 
Yeah, you definitely have. So treading new ground, but it is uh, the best of the ones they have tried to do just in terms of giving me something I could jump in. Two. Right, aside from the first two when it comes to continuing that story. But at the same time, I feel like we did continue the story that we wanted for such a long time that now it's time for something a little bit different. So either way, thank you guys for watching our non-spoiler review for Terminator Dark Fate. Stay tuned for our spoiler review. We'll probably get into a little bit more, but we are also covering Terminator 2. T2 Judgment Day and Better Late Than Never. That should drop next week. That's dropping on Thursday, so be on the lookout for that. It's going to not have Dark Fate spoilers, really, but with the insight of what we have seen here, you'll get our thoughts on Terminator 2 in that episode of Better Late Than Never. So thank you guys so much. You can like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, tell them our Instagram started. All the social networking joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon, get us where we need to go. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you. Thank you guys so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. Party's over. Bye. Bye.